Hello everyone, my name is Cryflo and I'm here to do a guide on Dark Souls Remastered and this is a guide on how to install mods and how to use those mods specifically the enemy item and fog gate randomizer mods so we're just going to jump straight into it so first things first we need to download the mods so right now I'm on Nexus Mods and all we want to do is we want to jump onto the files tab here click manual download and then click on download now I've already downloaded these so when you do click download you're gonna get a little tab in the bottom left corner that is if you're using Windows 10 um, so that's what you need to do to install those mods links are gonna be in the description down below for quick access to your Dark Souls Remastered folder, jump onto Steam, make sure you're in offline mode as well when you're running these randomizers. I'm going to right click on the game, click properties, and then we're going to go to our local files. And then from there, click browse, and then a file explorer tab will appear, taking us to the Dark Souls Remastered folder. After you finish downloading your randomizers, we're going to need to download WinRAR or a similar file extracting software. So I've jumped onto Google, I've typed out WinRAR download, and I'm going to click on the top link and wait for that to come good. Yep, and I'm going to click on download WinRAR, and then we're going to click continue to download. So in the bottom left corner of your screen, you'll get the, the file. Now, I've already got mine on my computer, but just follow these five steps that you see on my screen and you should be fine. Now that you've got your files downloaded, the next thing we need to do is extract them to our Dark Souls Remastered folder. So to do that, you should go into your downloads in File Explorer, right click on the randomizer and click extract files. So we get a little menu here, what we need to do is go to where our steam is Ooh, not there there we go mine's called steam 2 but yours should just be called steam uh, go to common and then click dark souls remastered and then click ok i've already got mine set up so i'm not going to click ok once you've finished extracting your files your dark souls remastered folder should look a lot like this with these files in that folder now that we have our files together, we can start opening up the randomizers and start generating those seeds for our playthroughs. So right now I've got the item randomizer open and I've got a seed just here ready to go. You don't need to have a, a seed pre-made. You can always just click scramble and it'll generate a seed for you. You can play around with the settings however you like. It's up to you how easy or hard you want it. But a, a dead giveaway to know that it does work is when you go to character creation, your character will be wearing uh, different armor sets and weapons to the standard to the standard classes that are available in the game. Okay, next up we've got the enemy randomizer, which is a little bit different to the item randomizer menu because we've got a lot more options uh, to play around with, so we can go with replacing normal enemies, bosses, NPCs, you name it, and we've got other options, even more options. We can, we can um, type in a seed if we've got one on hand, but I'm just going to click randomize. We do have the option as well to revert things back to normal, so if we ever want to play a standard playthrough of Dark Souls, we can do that. That's just fine. So this loading screen has just done its thing. We've now generated a seed ready to go. And lastly, we've got the fog gate randomizer, which is not as complex as the enemy and item randomizer menus. This one is very easy. We can just click randomize if we want to. We can also click restore backups. So just like with the enemy randomizer, how we could revert to normal, this can revert to normal. Um, one side note is that if you're ever using multiple mods, so you use an item, an enemy, and a fog gate randomizer, you can click restore backups, and that'll just turn everything back to normal. So I'll click randomize, and 
might take just a second, but we got it there and now we have a fog gate seed. Now that we've generated the seed using all three of these mods, we're going to use the mods to generate an older seed that we made in the past. So, we'll start off with the item randomizer. So when we make a seed with that randomizer, it actually creates a folder. So we're going to click onto this folder here and then we're going to go into seed info. Now that's going to open up a notepad and we're going to highlight the seed here and then I'm going to press Control C or right click and copy and we're going to go to item randomizer and we can't right click and paste so we have to press Control V and then press scramble items and there we go we've just made an item randomizer seed. Next up we've got the enemy randomizer to use an older seed, what we need to do is click copy enemy placement and we want to go to enemy randomized data and then we want to go to refs and then click whatever enemy layout file you want and then press open and then that's going to take a minute to load up. Yep, that's all done and now we've got ourselves an enemy seed. And then lastly, for the fog randomizer, we want to go to our runs folder. Then we want to click on to one of these. And then here's our seed, so we're going to copy that. And then we're going to paste it and click randomize. Now, this one didn't work because we haven't quite got the order right, or we have settings in one of those uh, seeds that don't work together with the fog randomizer so i'm going to click restore backups and then i'm going to show you how to actually put these mods together now they've given you a brief description of how each of the randomizers work i'm going to tell you how to put these randomizers together so we have the enemy item and fog randomizers so i've got a notepad opened up here this will tell you what combinations work and what doesn't work because the order of which you do these randomizer seeds do matter so if you're doing um if you're doing just like enemy item or item enemy stuff like that that's fine but any of the ones that involve the fog gate randomizer as well as the enemy randomizer do matter because one can complicate the other so there's compatibility issues there so in order to um, get the most amount of success out of the fog and enemy uh, randomizer compatibility is through the um, scaling on the fog gate randomizer and the uh, random curve on the enemy randomizer let me bring out my tabs ah here we go so on the enemy randomizer you're going to have the most amount of success with compatibility if you were to do random with difficulty curve and it wouldn't even matter what you set these percentages to you could set that to 100 percent and 100 percent and that would work just fine um, i've got this folder here these are all folders i've made up so these are all seeds that i've generated so there's a hundred percent uh, scale R curve so random difficulty curve and scaling from the fog gate randomizer all right so let's say we were trying to generate an enemy C but we had our mode to fully random and we had our boss chance to 100% each so we could randomize that and then once that loads up and uh, we could try the fog gate randomizer but what will happen is, let's say we took the scaling off and we randomize, it's going to fail. So there's uh, two solutions to this. We can either A, stick to uh, scale and a random difficulty curve, and that'll uh, be much more successful when we try to generate both of those seats together or 
you could basically spam randomize on each of these until you get success. So I have done that, but the highest I've gotten from generating a no scale seed is 70%. And just to give you a rough idea, I got 202 log files. So these are all uh, enemy seeds that I've generated. So that, that's just a side note. If you're going to generate an enemy seed and you don't want to take up a lot of time, you just want to get right into the game, I would recommend doing a random difficulty curve. Alrighty, so now we're going to generate the actual seeds for these. So what I've got uh, put together is a random difficulty curve and 50-50% on the boss chance. So I'm going to click randomize. And then we're going to wait on that one. And once that's finished, we're going to generate the fog mod. Done. And... Oh, we have a failed message here. Um, so if you ever get a failed message, don't panic. Because all you need to do is generate another enemy seed. So what's happened here is the enemy seed and the fog gate seed aren't compatible with each other so we've generated a new seed we'll click randomize again and done those two are compatible they work together next things uh, to do the item randomizer and I'll just do that that and that done and those that's all three of those things set up alrighty so we're in dark souls I'm gonna set up a new account and as you can see the item randomizers work let's just I don't care about the name and the class we can pick all of these different classes I don't know what sort of weapon I would want yeah that look actually yeah probably a pyromancer um, I'll go black fire bombs because I'm not actually going to do a playthrough with this. I'm just trying to go for something that could deal with the um, enemy in the hallway when you get your shield and weapon. So there's two things to know if your um, seed is a success. The first is that if the first fog gate you go through, if that goes um if that leads you to the next part of the asylum then it means that it's failed uh another um giveaway is if say you went through that fog wall and then you went through the second fog wall which would be the um first one in the underberg it'll actually um teleport you to wherever but you'll fall through the world and die and if you fall through the world and die you'll end up respawning back at the last bonfire you rested at. If not, you can quit out, but then that'll just uh, load you back to the spot after that fog wall originally. So if you went through the Undeadberg fog wall and you quit out afterwards, then you would be just after that. Oh, nice, so we're... Oh! Still alive. Okay, so that was my guide on how to install, use, and combine the enemy item and fog gate randomizers. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to those mods if you want to have a look and download those. Also, a thank you to the developers of those mods for making these because you've really made the game that much better. Um, I'm also going to leave... Uh, my PC specs down below in the description just in case you know if you download these and you're having trouble still and you think it might be a PC error on your side then yeah I'm more than happy to do that because I had a lot of trouble uh, trying to put these together even with the um, description on Nexus mods 
I, I just couldn't figure it out so I had to keep constantly changing different settings on each of the mods until finally I got the results that I wanted so this is more me trying to save you from spending hours trying to work out the right order so now that I've got the seeds working for me I was considering doing a, a playthrough on my channel um, I was also considering doing a, an Elden Ring playthrough as well I'm, I'm really not sure which one I'm gonna do if any but yeah comment below if you think I should anyways uh, I'm Cracklow and I'll see you later